Yes, how you guys doing on this Tuesday, August 13th, 2024, MOD coming at you with another video as always, coming to you from the MOD Crypt. Lots of content you might have missed on the channel in the last three weeks, but the most recent four videos are right there in the annotation screen or five videos. Bring it down, everything you need to get caught up is there. I would really appreciate it. Remember to hit that subscribe button down below, turn on the bell for all notifications so you know when MOD posts new content, giving you only the real Elite Underground Metal. It's always raw fucking it's always. I want to welcome you once again to Album Review Tuesdays here on the channel tonight. We're going deep into the underground, into the land of the frozen tundra in Moscow, Russia, for a review of a ghost morbid despotic ritual. Yeah, man, I got this cassette like three years ago. Pretty awesome stuff. That is the uh, great cassette there. I'll show you guys the J cards really quick. Awesome. Killer. Those Sudar are absolutely incredible. Amazing band. Yeah, really excited for this. I hope you guys are as well. Um, so Go Sudar formed in 2018 and hailed from Moscow, Russia, like I said. And they put on a number of splits, a couple EPs, a demo, and this full length. So far the only one. And Morbid Despotic Ritual was released in 2021 on Rotted Life Records. So for the lineup, we have Renat Kurmakov, Kurmakov on drums, sorry, Sergei Melenin, guitars, Vladin, Ivanov, vocals, and lead guitars. Now, you know, I can't find too much information on the band, but that's okay. Yeah, I know why you're here. You know why you're here. So let's just get it. So the album opens up with demented visions of the infinite power, and this is like the best old school death metal meets doom metal that I have heard about uh, in a long time. Very great album. It's literally dripping with atmosphere and sonic blasting chaos amidst mysterious deep growling vocal styles that bring upon visions of emotions of ancient historical battles and violence. Also, there's some incredible but profound depth and power within the chunky raw riffs and vile production that instantly reminds you that OSDM is far, uh, this type of OSDM is far from de dead and gone, obviously. Now, this is an amazing display of valid expression, power, and tradition with the old school flame firmly in grasp here as Gosudar have an uncompromised approach and honesty that is extremely pleasant to old school freaks like myself and this is how i want my death metal to sound it's dark mysterious epic doomy and raw with a strong ancient atmosphere that compels your every moment this is a great opening track next up is the sonic blasting chaos and aggressive neck breaking track awakening of the realm now this is an absolute brutal bone smashing attack on all of the senses this is brutality and groove combined, but also has an amazing sense of variety as well. Now, it is composed very well in the songwriting, and there's a lot of old school groove in here as well that I really, really like. But the atmosphere of this invokes old nostalgic ruins and the uh, sandblasted remains of corpses from 10,000 years ago that have been unearthed from centuries of bad weather and desolate deserted landscapes and there's a historical presence that's very strong that emphasizes itself well here and feels like it's taking you back to ancient times before humanity even took their first steps. It's an exploration of primordial time periods and the chaos that occurred long before any human experience or conscious awareness happened. This is death metal with a purpose and meaning, and I love it. Just a great track. This one is awesome as well. Very powerfully uh, and emotionally as well. Great stuff. All right, so next up is Prophecy Embodiment, and this one is another brutal sonic atmospheric trip back into prehistoric times when this Earth's deadly uh, climates and overall unforgiving denial of human existence uh, collides like a cacophonic explosion of historical disasters and it really reminds me of how fragile our existence really is as this monstrous track is like a slithering demonic presence lurking underneath the earth that is hungering for human flesh and this is present in the instrumentation and the vocals as well i also get visions and emotions 
of the ancient Egyptian gods damning or roaming the planet story, as well as perhaps battling with each other, with other ancient races and deistic entities. And there's some incredible occult atmosphere, textures, and nuances as well. So guys, let's check out some Go Sudar here on MOD. of the vile testimony and this one is pretty doom laden but also has that osdm speed that makes it doom death uh, and so fucking fascinating it doesn't need to have breakneck speed all the time to deliver its brutality ancient atmosphere and emotions for its overall intentions and goals now the riffs are slow and doomy but also fast and chunky with the right amount of low end dirt production overshadowing the entire listening experience. The blasting is incredible on this track as well, which adds to the right amount of brutality combined with the slower doom laden guitar work. And of course, the vocals are so guttural and to the point of invoking visions of ancient demonic beasts with guitar riffs that sound like the calling to the skies to conjure the ancient beings into existence. And this is easily one of my favorite tracks on the fucking album. It's absolutely great. Next is Resurrection of the Nephilim. Or of Nephilim. And this one is just downright evil and terrifying. The atmosphere on this one makes me think of ancient demonic Nephilim creatures and entities sacrificing humans and enslaving us. And this one is very epic and atmospherically driven as well as a bit of a slower paced doom laden OSTM classic. It's slow and crawling, but has the presence of spiritual dark entities and occult ritualistic riffing with some incredible drum work along with chaotic bass lines and some of the most powerful low-end growling vocals I've ever heard on a death metal album. But this can be said about the whole record. Oh my god, that bass guitar can be heard so well, which really adds to the originality and the ominous thundering atmosphere this fucking album embodies so well. This is a great track. Absolute best. Closing out this 32 minute masterpiece of ancient death metal brutality is Morbid Despotic Ritual title track. And this one is one of the best on the album, but that's not to take anything away from the rest of this album's Roman Empire crushing brutality and destruction 
that often at times feels like a war cry to demolish the, uh, and eliminate all corrupt religions and to bring us back to the time of the real gods of the planet. The Nephilim and other ancient Egyptian gods and beings that were all here long before us were the false Christian BS god that everybody uh, places so high up on their moral compass. It's bullshit. Anyway. This is an amazing whirlwind of nothing but pure destruction, chaos, and abolishment of all things holy and pure within the corrupt Christian doctrine. Though this is not an anti-Christian band, you can certainly hear the complete rejection of modernity and religion, which is fucking awesome. All throughout this album's worst and lyrics. This is an absolute crusher and one you don't want to miss out on. Killer clothing track here as well. So now we come to the final of Shootard Morbid Despotic Ritual. It's getting a 10 out of 10. Make sure you pick up this tape. Absolutely incredible. I'll show you guys the tape right again. Very, very quick. 2021 Rotted Life Records. Make sure you get out and get this. I will leave links in the description box below of where you can buy this. Now you might not be able to get it anymore, but maybe you can. Hail the fucking underground raw. All right, there you have it. Another album review and books on the channel. Hope you enjoyed the premiere. Uh, merchandise coming up on the screen. Music of Destruction, Spread the Leg, Annihilate the Human Race. Janelle did a great job with that shirt. Look at that awesome font on there. You have eight different designs, four different colors on that. Well, thank you to everybody who's been buying the merch with that shirt. Absolutely incredible. Really appreciate all the love and support from you guys. You're amazing. That shirt is awesome, and uh, there's been a bunch of people that have bought it. Thank you so much. I uh, really appreciate all of you for checking out my bonfire.com forward slash store forward slash music dash up dash destruction. Coming up on the screen as well, MOD, raw fucking intolerance. You've got the green glowing font, looks absolutely killer. Has me doing an awesome pose on the front, and so, is, so does the other shirt I just showed you. Uh, looks absolutely awesome. That green glowing font with that amazing style of font looks killer. Great contrast of colors there. That one, eight different designs, four different colors, raw fucking intolerance on the back with an awesome green glowing skull, with the pentagram, great raw fucking intolerance on, on the bottom as well. Thank you, Janelle, and to everybody who's been buying that. Thank you, Janelle, for helping me with all this. I love it. Appreciate you very much. Also, coming up on the screen, the brand new shirt, Music of Destruction, I Hate Your Band. Yes, that one has me on the front. we an awesome war metal pose, chain bandoliers, all that cool stuff. Uh, really great occult print on the front. On the back, another occult print, a demonic print that has the demon with the hands clasped. I Hate Your Band. That one also comes with uh, eight different designs, only three colors on that one, so make sure you check it out. Bonfire.com forward slash door forward slash music dash dash destruction. Thank you to everybody. Mark Chaos Massacre, you just recently bought the shirt and did a promo video promoting MOD. Thank you so much, Mark. Really appreciate you. Join the MOD Elite Legion right now for $99 per month. Get access to exclusive content. Just did a podcast on the history of the LLN. Review requests, the top 15 metal album warfare is an album ranking. Band promotions, if you have a band, will promote your band in your music and interview you, interview you should you want to be. Member collaborations, if you have a metal YouTube channel, you can come on and talk about whatever related to metal. Uh, early access to all new videos anywhere from 12 to 36 hours before everybody else. And members only live stream on Saturday nights for the Crypt Underground Metal Radio Show. Members, members only Super Chat request. We're also going to be doing a hangout with members every second uh, Saturday. I'm going to try to organize that. It's going to be, obviously, with 50 members, it'll be have to vary on the guests. It'll be whoever can show up at the vote time, so please, guys, consider doing that. Uh, enjoy the channel. Shout out time of the video. We have Baron Rich, the silent producer of that gold metal show. Trevor Shrimp here with Mike Bogus, Oak the Go Podcast, Dead Eye Delight, Ghoulish Dave, Mark Chaos Massacre, and the Skull and Sam. Make sure you go and check them all out. Give them some support and love. They do make some pretty good content. Also, check out my buddy's band, Hello Calvaria, Mortisai, Cadaver Right, and Go to Mentors. Links all down in the description box below. Go show them some support. Have an awesome night, man. I'm fucking out of here. We'll see you for Album Ranking Wednesday.